Welcome to Small Talk. My name is David Shaw. On the radio this morning I heard that English Heritage are encouraging across their various ruined abbey sites a time when people stop talking, turn off their phones and just experience the silence. Two things struck me as I listened to the man from English Heritage talk. The first was how easily he airbrushed God out of the whole matter. Uh, he wanted the visitors to experience what the monks and the nuns had in terms of the quietness and the silence. Without beginning to mention that the nuns and the monks had that silence as a way that they could listen carefully to the voice of God. And then the second thing that struck me was, uh, as I was thinking about silence, are the, are the differing levels that there are of silence. There's the silence that English heritage were trying to encourage, the removal of external noise so that their visitors could hear the birds sing, could hear the wind in the trees, could stop without distractions and look at the architecture and the artwork. That's the sort of experience that some of us enjoyed and relished during lockdown when background noise was so much less and we could hear birds singing. But then, I don't know whether it is the same for you, but it is for me that sometimes when one cuts out the external noise one is so conscious of the internal noise that's going on inside one's head. The voices that say, what are you doing having all this silence when you've got so much to do? Don't forget, this just pops into your head and you write it down on the to-do list. Or then for some people there are disturbing voices that tell people what they think of themselves. That's not an easy place, and unlike the first form of silence, which is a gift, this feels more like a burden. But then, beyond the burden, for those who get that far, beyond the distractions, there is true silence, true contemplation. When there is a slowing down of the mind and the heart and the spirit so that one is open to hear the soft, gentle voice of God. Now the monks and the nuns heard all those things. They would have been aware of the birds and the wind in the trees. They would have been aware of the distractions that were going on in their heads. But they had also learnt through practice to hear that soft, gentle voice of God. God is a God who wants to speak to the people. All he asks is that we make space to listen to that voice and that word that God has to speak.